The story begins with a cat named Garfield using his cell phone to order food via an app. The scene then shifts to Garfield's childhood where he was abandoned by his father, Vic, which made Garfield feel sad. Across the street, Garfield sees a young man named John ordering pizza and approaches him. Just as John is about to eat the pizza, Garfield appears at the window, surprising him. John lets Garfield in and Garfield finishes the pizza. When the waiter comes to offer more food, John hides Garfield. While choosing food, Garfield points out what he likes and John orders it. John then sees Garfield eating another visitor's food and tries to chase him, but Garfield always manages to escape. Not long after, a woman gives John a box containing Garfield. John takes Garfield out of the restaurant, intending to leave him outside, but when Garfield is swept away by the water, John feels sad and takes him home. At home, John has a dog named Odie. Garfield and Odie play together, and the three of them look happy while eating at home. That night, they fall asleep soundly, but Garfield wakes up hungry and wakes Odie to accompany him to get food from the refrigerator. At the same time, they are surprised by the arrival of two animals named Roland and Nolan who enter the house and catch them. After being captured, they are taken somewhere and tied up. A man in a black cloak comes to their aid. After succeeding in freeing them, Garfield pulls off the cloak and discovers it is his father, Vic. They argue about why Vic abandoned Garfield as a child. During the argument, a white female cat named Jinx approaches, followed by Roland and Nolan, who have captured Garfield and Odie again. Jinx tells her story, how she met Vic when she was about to perform but failed because she was nervous, making her feel sad. Vic came to comfort her and they became close friends like family. Jinx then recounts a time when they stole cow's milk from a production site. When she was discovered and caught, Vic saw but refused to help, leading to Jinx's imprisonment. Nolan and Roland later came to her rescue. After finishing her story, Jinx asks Vic to make amends by stealing 1,675 liters of cow's milk. Garfield initially refuses to help, but after being threatened by Jinx, he agrees. They leave together and board a train by throwing Garfield first. Despite initial difficulties, Garfield eventually manages to board the train, followed by Vic and Odie. Meanwhile, at home John realizes that his pets are missing, leaving him sad. He tries to call the police to look for Garfield and Odie, but his efforts are unsuccessful. On the train, they arrive at the cow's milk production area and jump off. Upon arrival, Garfield sees a large cow named Otto who looks pensive. Garfield approaches Otto and persuades him to help them steal the cow's milk. Otto agrees because he wants to meet his partner Ethel, who has been separated from him by the guards. Otto was dumped in the pasture while Ethel was used as a display to entertain tourist guests. The group devises a plan to enter the facility through the air vent and take the truck keys. After the plan is completed, Otto trains Vic and Garfield's physical strength in various ways. They undergo physical training one by one. When finished, they lean against a tree trunk while reflecting on their thoughts. At the same time, Odie ties them both up. When they realize this, they start arguing about Vic having left Garfield in the alley. Vic denies it and explains what really happened that night. Vic saw a restaurant employee throwing food in the trash. He left Garfield in the alley because he wanted to get the food. However, when he was about to pick it up, the employee came out and called for quite a long time. Vic waited until the employee finished calling and managed to take the food from the trash can. After that, Vic went to see Garfield, but Garfield was no longer there. Vic then saw Garfield in the restaurant. Vic felt that Garfield would be happy with John, who loved him, so he decided not to see Garfield again. After hearing the explanation, Garfield felt sad and no longer blamed his father. Otto then feels they are ready to go on the mission, and Odie aunties them. Meanwhile, Jinx displays all of Vic's photos and scratches them vengefully. Roland then tells Jinx that tomorrow Vic and the others will enter the milk factory. Hearing that, Jinx reports the plan to the police station. Initially, the police do not understand cat language, but a police officer named Marge translates it using a cell phone. Marge immediately rushes to the milk factory. Meanwhile, Otto, Vic, Garfield, and Odie prepare a communication device. They carry out the mission by hiding in children's backs. Otto guides their plan through a communication device, ordering them to enter through the electric access door. After succeeding, Otto directs them to enter the air tunnel. Initially, Garfield is trapped because of his fat body, but Vic and Odie manage to pull him out. They are thrown into a long air passage. Not long after, they manage to enter the factory room. Vic and Odie fall in the same place, but Garfield falls into the production line, causing him to be discovered by Marge. Seeing that, Marge drops Garfield onto a large piece of cheese. Garfield is happy but soon realizes he is in danger because the cheese will be completely shredded. As the cheese is almost gone, Odie comes to Garfield's aid by telling him to jump onto another piece of cheese.
However, the new piece of cheese leads to a burning area, and Odie returns to save him. Once successful, Garfield falls onto a large piece of cheese, which he then cuts with a sharp knife. Odie tries to help him but fails. Then Vic arrives to help them both. After succeeding, they enter the milk truck room but do not find the truck key. Just then, Marge approaches them and Garfield tries to attack her but fails and is caught. Meanwhile, Otto sees them being attacked and enters the factory to help. Marge is distracted by Otto trying to break into the factory, so Vic takes the opportunity to grab the truck keys. Once successful, Vic closes the door and drives the milk truck alone, leaving Garfield, Odie, and Otto behind. On the way, Vic meets Jinx and intends to hand over the milk truck. However, Jinx reveals that her goal is not actually to get milk but to make Vic suffer. Meanwhile, Otto almost meets Ethel but is caught by Marge, so they fail to reunite. Garfield and Odie, who were also caught by Marge, are taken to the police station. Upon arriving at the police station, Garfield and Odie meet John again. John is happy and takes them home. At home, Garfield feels happy and returns to his usual activities. John serves Garfield and Odie a delicious meal. When he is about to eat, Garfield sees a tree in front of the house and decides to climb it. Garfield then realizes that his father is watching him from the tree, making Garfield feel sad. He also realizes that his father deliberately got them arrested by the police so he could return home with John. Realizing this, Garfield decides to help his father and they go to Jinx's headquarters. There, they see Jinx plan to take Vic using a train and throw him into a ravine from a bridge. Seeing this, Garfield contacts Otto and persuades him to help them rescue Vic. Otto agrees and they hatch a plan. Odie builds a rescue net under the bridge while Garfield orders thousands of food items. Afterwards, Otto throws Garfield onto the train where he meets Vic and helps him. They run away but Jinx, Roland, and Nolan continue to chase them. When Garfield and Vic are almost caught, Garfield's food order arrives, and he starts attacking Jinx and her henchmen using the food. After succeeding, Garfield invites Vic to escape, but Vic is caught by Roland. Seeing that, Garfield helps him by swallowing chili sauce and releasing fire from his mouth to attack them. After managing to escape again, they are caught by Jinx. They kill Hopeless and Garfield apologizes to his father for failing to help him. Vic reassures Garfield, saying it's okay. Hearing this, Roland and Nolan feel touched and decide not to obey Jinx's orders to throw them into the abyss. An argument breaks out between them which makes Jinx angry and she knocks them all into the ravine. However, at the same time, Jinx also falls. When they are about to fall, Otto comes to their rescue and Jinx also falls into the net with them. That night, they go on a mission disguised as men in robes and meet Marge. There, they hand over the keys to the truck and Jinx to Marge, then take Ethel from Marge. Otto is also happy because he can meet Ethel. The next morning, in front of the house, Garfield and his father apologize to each other. Garfield invites his father to live with John, but Vic initially refuses and leaves. However, Garfield finds his father in a tree and invites him back into the house. Vic agrees and they all rejoice. Vic orders a chair like Garfield's and they enjoy a full meal together. At the end of the story, John celebrates Garfield's birthday and invites all his friends. They all look happy and this is the end of the story. And that's the tale of the Garfield 2024 story. From the heartfelt moments of Garfield reconnecting with his father to the thrilling escapades of outwitting Jinx and her henchmen, this movie has taken us on a roller coaster of emotions. Garfield's journey was not just about fun and mischief, but also about family, forgiveness, and friendship. We hope you enjoyed watching Garfield and his friends embark on this wild adventure, full of laughs, tears, and unforgettable surprises. Garfield's hilarious antics and unexpected bravery showed us a side of him we've never seen before. Whether it was his daring cheese escapades or his heartwarming effort to mend his relationship with his father, Garfield proved he's more than just a lazy cat. Each character brought something special to the story, making it a rich tapestry of humor and heart. What was your favorite part of Garfield's journey? Let us know in the comments below. If you loved this movie as much as we did, don't forget to hit that like button. Your support helps us bring more amazing content to you, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting movie recaps and reviews. Share this video with your friends and family so they can join in on the fun and adventures of Garfield and his friends. We are always looking for ways to improve and bring you the best content possible. Your feedback is invaluable to us so please leave your thoughts and comments below. Did you enjoy the action-packed scenes or the touching moments between Garfield and his father? We'd love to hear your thoughts and any suggestions you might have for future videos. Lastly, we want to know, what movie would you like to see us recap next? Drop your suggestions in the comments and we might just pick your favorite for our next video. Thank you for watching and being a part of our community. Stay tuned for more exciting films and see you in the next one.
Thank you so much again for being here with us through this incredible journey. The Garfield 2024 story has been an absolute delight to share, and your continued support means the world to us. Remember to keep sharing your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. In conclusion, Garfield's story has given us a blend of laughter, adventure, and touching moments. We appreciate each and every one of you for watching and engaging with our content. Until next time, stay tuned for more amazing recaps and adventures. See you in the next video.